But it's been my experience that students at all levels, whether they are out of high school in the college or they are uh, students who are in the field, they really appreciate someone who has done the things or some of the things that uh, the class is about or some of the things that they are teaching. It's almost as if they they, they take the written and the, the academic portions, but they want that to be operationalized. They want to hear how it's been put into practice. Really wanting to move up in the field, I became a federal agent uh, with the then U.S. Department of the Treasury and the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, and I became a special agent and um, worked with that agency for a long, long time. I went to the headquarters office in Washington, D.C., where I was chief of the firearms division, chief of the special operations division, chief of the explosives division. And from there, I uh, was given an assignment at the U.S. Department of the Treasury, which was a parent organization for the ATF, but also they provided uh, operational control and policy oversight for the U.S. Secret Service, United States Customs Service, when I was in Atlanta as assistant special agent in charge with the government. And uh, I was informed that the uh, Savannah State University criminal justice program had an opening and it allowed me to stay at home, uh, meeting in the state of Georgia now, and to work with young people and to share with them the, some of the information that I had uh, obtained and gleaned from, at that time, about 35 years in the field. And that is how I got to Savannah State. By putting in experiences and being able to talk about those experiences from a personal perspective, it gives uh, the student a better sense of understanding and keeps their attention and makes them uh, see that they could fulfill those same roles and that it is not impossible for them to achieve those um, milestones in their careers.